Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. This is a video of a project on water reticulation design for ECW435 hydraulics. This video is prepared by our group from EC2205C3 prepared for Madam Siti Nuruhuda Muhammad Imran. Introduction Task given was to design a water reticulation system using the knowledge on the flow in pipe networks. The system for water reticulation is a medium through which the water distribution network is accumulated and then distributed to the consumer. Based on the project description, students are given a layout plan of a proposed development parcel A. The project comprises 8 blocks of the 5-storey hostel, an admin building and a cafeteria with total water demand of Q. Based on the layout plan of a proposed development, the loops layout are designed as follows. The measurement of the pipe length has been determined via AutoCAD. The length of all pipes is as shown below. The water demand calculation is done with the reference from the Malaysian Water Association MWA guidelines for single story house and education institution. The total water demand for parcel A is shown as follows. Firefighting flow. This project is constructed for a five-story hostel and the areas are not congested. Therefore, according to Malaysia Water Association guidelines, the fire risk is categorized in class E. Thus, the average flow is 680 liter per minute. And this is the calculation to find firefighting flow. Based on the calculations that has been done, we can see that peak flow is greater than fire flow. Therefore, the peak flow will be used for overall calculation for the design as it is the critical value. The fire flow layout is shown as follows. Head balance method calculation. The figure shows the layout for parcel A and the outflow for the system in each pipe are assumed. The concept of head balance method is by using the concept of continuity equation which is Q in equals to Q out. The assumption of the flow are made for each pipe in the system as shown in the figure below. Head balance method or known as Hardy Cross method is approachable to closed loop pipe networks. The outflows from the system uses an initial gas that will satisfy the continuity of flow. This method is used when the total volume of the flow rate is known, but the head or pressure at junction within the network is unknown. The slide shows the list of formula and the procedure by using the hazen william equation. In this case, Three iteration is made to achieve the total heat loss for each loop in the system that is nearly zero. The steps are then repeated until the total value of heat loss are zero or nearly zero. As you can see for the third iteration, the total heat loss for each loop is nearly zero. Therefore, we can stop the iteration. Generally, residual heat is the measured pressure at a junction for a given flow through the pipe. In this study, there are two methods to calculate the residual heat. The formula for method 1 is the elevation level plus with available heat minus with top water level. For example, the residual heat of not K is 45 meter. Meanwhile, the formula for method 2 is the elevation level plus with available heat minus with highest supply level. For example, the residual heat of node K is 37.4 meter. 
this project, we were required to design a water tank based on the total research flow in the pipe obtained. The project consisted of 8 blocks of 5-storey hostel, with each block needed up to 90,000 litres per day and 2 blocks of cafes that needed 8,160 litres each daily. Apart from that, the reservoir needs to be designed to cater for parcel M and N. The proposed material used for the reservoir is a stainless steel water tank. The size of reservoir proposed is a cylinder water tank with a diameter of 60 meter. In conclusion, the objective of this project are finally achieved because students are able to propose a water supply reservoir and pipe network. Based on the layout pipe network, there are consists of eight blocks, one cafeteria, and one admin building. Moreover, students are able to design flow with accurate details of water demand based on the calculation made. For this project, high density polyethylene, or also known as HDPE, is used which has high level of impermeability and strong molecular bond which make it suitable for the high pressure pipeline and the size of the pipe used is 250mm for the diameter. Lastly, head balance method is used to determine the flow in pipe network.